Like the technology, the experience. Like if your parents are musicians, like just take some time and walk us through that experience so that we can get to know the foundational elements of Share 24K. Well, cool. so yeah, my I come from a line of musicians actually. So my dad, he's a he's an artist. He does tributes to Bob Marley. And when I was younger, he used to tour around Canada and um, like perform Bob Marley songs. And I would go, I would go on stage with him and kind of like experience what stage life, what tour life was. Like how and my grandpa you? also. I think I was like three, the earliest that I remember hanging out with him and being on stage and stuff. But my grandpa too, he's a Calypso artist in Trinidad, Lord Superior. He just passed away a couple of years ago. Um, but same thing with my dad. My dad watched him growing up do music, performing and all of that stuff too. So I kind of grew up with it. It's it's in my blood definitely to to do music and to be around it. I'm, I grew up with it. It's It's a passion for sure. So like when you were young, as you were like on stage, were you like already just singing, dancing, getting into the vibe, or was it more just like something that was happening around you? Um, well, my dad, he played in a band, so I would go on stage and I wasn't really performing with them, but I was just kind of up there with my dad because my dad was a singer. So I'd go on stage and dance around and just be cute and silly. I was kind of like the dressing on the cake, you know, like you have to add like a cute little muffin on stage to kind of bring the people in and then they stay to listen to, to the music. No, I'm just kidding. He's like actually a good artist, but that's what I like to think. Nah, it definitely worked out like that. I've seen every dad I know bust out the kid to try to get people to listen to their music. <laughs> so it's absolutely a move. Um, so like when you were young, was your mom also into music? Was like a, a big thing in the family or was it really like your dad performing and then like, like outside of that, was it a prevalent force? Yeah, my mom, she was really into music too. Um, she really loved R&B, which is why I listen to a lot of R&B still to this day. Like Lauren Hill is one of my favorite singers. Um, Erica Badu, even like Missy Elliott. I listen to that stuff still to this day. That was her vibe. Um, so I feel like she influenced a bit of my R&B style because my dad was definitely more reggae um but my dad influenced like the instruments the the actual passion and drive behind music i'm like when, did you start like playing instruments or anything when you were young yeah when i was young i played in um like i was in church choir i played in band i played guitar from when i was like 11 12 years old um, and I taught myself how to play keyboard too when I was young. So I was always like really into music. Instruments were always around me. So I had no excuse not to pick them up and try them out. How did you teach yourself to play? Was it like you just figured it out or? Yeah, well, because like when you listen to songs, you kind of can feel out the notes or hear the notes. So I, d I don't think like I'm, I'm like Mozart and I can just play by ear anything. But I would definitely try to like, listen to the notes and try to like fill out the songs that I would hear and listen to. And um, that's how I learned how to play the keyboard and piano. I took lessons. I mean, guitar, I took lessons. So you're saying that just cause that's actually like super cool that as a little mm -hmm. one with no, no intervention, you're like, okay, so I got this piano here. I'm hearing this song. Let me see if I can figure this out. And you're just like mm -hmm. via trial and error, teaching yourself how to like, play notes and chords and etc. Yeah. And like because I was taking guitar lessons, I feel like it made it easier for me because if you turn a guitar on the side, it's essentially like a keyboard or a piano. So the, the keys are the same or the notes are the same, but you're just playing it in a different style. That's big. So true. it got easier to pick up the more instruments I was hearing and playing, it got easier to do over time. That's really cool. So we got a question from Ismail asking, what's your favorite instrument? Hmm, that's hard because I see beauty in so many different instruments, but I think my favorite instrument sound is probably a saxophone. I love the sound and, and the passion and, and feelings that you can get from listening to a saxophone. 
That is a really cool answer. I like how musically driven you are with this stuff. Like, I'm not going to lie. You are possibly the first R&B singer I have had on my show. So it's super interesting to see where your, like, interests and passions lie because it's just not the same. You're, like, playing instruments at, like, young and you're, like... I don't know. It's exciting for me. This is really cool. The saxophone. Yeah, like that like was my shit when I was a cool. Kid. Like I never think yeah, about I it. Yeah, I played like that, that in the in the band. Um, I was like a band geek in high school, <clears throat> even younger than high school, grade seven, eight. When you start playing band in school, um, the first instrument I ever picked up was the trombone because I'm real short. I'm only four eleven. So I wanted to prove to my um, classmates I could play the trombone and I played for a long time for like two years. And then I moved on to saxophone because I liked it better and I liked the sound. But I played a lot of instruments growing up. That was like, it was a real passion of mine. I was, but before the singing, I was more of like a band nerd. Like I wanted to play the drums, the instruments, like that type of stuff. And then, um, because I wasn't like- as confident when I was young. Were you like into composing stuff as well? Um, not like jazz music, but I would play stuff like I would make up my own melodies on the saxophone and on the trombone and stuff. And I'd play it for like my mom and my family and everything. But I never like went out there to do like a competition or anything for it. Yeah, but it's still songwriting. It's still fucking cool. Yeah. I mean, I've been songwriting since I was like small like i can't even remember when i wrote my first song ismail uh she's shorter than bonnie that's his that's that's the truth of the situation that's my girlfriend she's five feet tall so i'm like okay because you asked how <laughs> um short it is because you used to the metric system and i'm like i don't know it in metric but it's shorter than you would think <clears throat> yeah it's real short um but uh that's funny that you would get the instrument just because like just to prove the point but it's so cool how many yeah. instruments can you play i can play quite a few mostly brass instruments um and then guitar keyboard i can play but i'm not as good as i was back in the day when i was playing them more i feel like music is more synthesized now um but if i pick up and i play like i can i can catch on pretty quick I love guitar, piano, and brass. Hold up. When you say music is so thin- synthesized, more, you mean it's harder for you to like play along because of the lack of actual instrumentations that goes into a lot of modern music? No, I just don't play as often now okay. because um, because things are so like high tech, right? You can make any sound on the computer or right. any sound in the studio, so you don't really need to pick up an instrument and play it anymore but if i if i wanted to like sample my own guitar or something i probably could do that that's fire actually like that is ridiculously fire like when i hear people can do that i'm like damn that's like a level of because you know i don't know how to make a guitar sound like a guitar i could maybe come up with notes in an order <laughs> but that's where you get to like some real shit um yeah so I guess if you're in high school and you're pursuing the band thing and you get like that like bug for like, you know, kind of playing music and you've been on a stage a little bit, are you like also singing at that point or are you just like focused on the music? Um, when I was in high school, cause I lost, I lost my mom when I was 12. So when I was in high school, I, I didn't even really want to sing or do anything like that cause my my confidence was real shot after that. So I didn't even really start singing until like again, until 11th grade or 12th grade. And um, I remember in 11th grade, I actually, I started my own little singing project um, in my school where I would like perform songs at little charity events and stuff and play my guitar. Well, that's like really Um, cool. Tell us more about that. That's hugely ambitiously cool. Yeah. Well, my brother, he made t-shirts and, and stuff. So I would try to like promote his t-shirt business and um, like do performances within my school because I went to a lot of different schools um, during my high school career. So it was kind of like almost in a sense, like a way for people to get to know me because people didn't really know me like that. So I would post videos on YouTube or um on Facebook sometimes and I would like go to school and people would just get to know me as that girl who was always singing and doing covers. 
And um, so I started this project. It was called Open Heart Project. It was pretty corny, actually. That's not that corny. Um, it was back then. It was pretty corny. <laughs> and um, I was trying to like sing and sell T-shirts and like, yeah, people pretty much got to know me from that. You know, like, in my school. Like that's fucking fire, though. Still, when you like describe it to me today. I'm like, even down to the name, I'm like, that works. That would like be a hella hot name in 2021. <laughs> yeah, it was something. Like, it was like, I don't know where I was trying to go with it back then. Um, but it was a start. Like, it, it helped me to get back out there with music and, and build my confidence and letting people hear me sing. I'm also going to say not a lot of people in high school start things just at all let alone go out there and perform come up with like content strategies and like try to sell some merch and sh like that's pretty ambitious like really cool stuff yeah i feel like i thought um like i always had like a real high ambition for music and stuff i always thought like i was gonna be a famous singer from even when i was young like i would go to random cafes with my friends and do silly little performances and stuff there i like nine ten years old like the craziest ages like re from real young and i always would think like oh beyonce is gonna see a video of me and she <laughs> she's gonna pick me up and you know something crazy is gonna happen that's what i used to think i mean it's not like a bad series of thoughts like to be like nine ten up and running a circuit of open micing even if it's maybe not what you had in mind exactly that's wildly cool like that's like you're clocking real experience at that point mm -hmm.